Welcome back to Let's Play Aperture Tag. I'm Burning Dog Face, and Subject 18 is, uh... Well, I'm not actually sure what he's doing, but, uh... Oh, that's right. Something threw me off of that, and then I realized I was talking about myself. I continued to talk about myself in the third person there, and it got weird. Yeah, we're just kind of fucking around. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's nothing I can say to excuse uh, what I've been doing. Just no, no, I'm just being an idiot. Woo! Oh. You know, I feel like I should mention early on. Um, I know I don't look at a lot of mods on my channel. I think really the only times I've used them have been when I've played old games that, uh... Yeah, like Quake 2, I used a, a graphics mod to make it look a little better. As well as, uh... There we go. Yeah, that's right, the Steam version didn't actually have the music soundtrack for some reason. So I just downloaded a thing that put it back in. And, uh, as well as making the graphics a bit nicer, considering it was, uh, like, 20 years old at that point. But, uh... I didn't just find this one on, you know, Mod DB or whatever. I found this on Steam. You can buy this for money. I don't remember the number off the top of my head. I want to say it was like... Six bucks Canadian? Something like that? Uh, citation needed, though. You know what? <laughs> yes, here it is. 569 Canadian. I looked it up because I wasn't sure if it was, uh... You know, lowered, because the last time I looked at the page was during the, uh... The Christmas sale. Although I think I've had this in my, uh, library for a couple of years now. What does this say? Be unstoppable. Thanks, Laws and Drapper. I'm sure I will. Yeah, sure, let's save the game. But yeah, the thing I felt was important to actually say is that, uh... Because it's a mod, you do need to own Portal 2 in order to play this. It has its own executable and stuff, but... Uh... There you go. It has its own executable, but, uh... You do need to own Portal 2 on Steam and have it installed when you run this game. I guess it needs to draw directly on some of the files from the game in order to, uh, work properly. Oh, isn't that convenient? Ah, That was a mistake. No! I've done it! I'm a genius! I'm not going high enough. Piss drink. What did I do wrong there? Oh, okay, almost fucked that one up real bad. Oh. Oh, I see. I'll get more height if I do this, and I'll land square in the middle of that platform. That's the trick. Yeah, that'll do ya. Hooah! That painting is all good and fun, but cleaning that stuff up is horribly expensive. So just please only spray where you think is necessary. Our Aperture Science sentient washing servos will thank you. You know, I was going to follow that up with uh, d uh, spraying paint for like 30 solid seconds while saying nothing, but uh, 
if the robots they're using to clean up the paint are self-aware, that suddenly gives me pause. If I'm just, you know, making trouble for a robot that I've never met. Fine, fine. I'll try not to be too much of a dick about it. Fuck off, mouse cursor. I'm gonna stop mentioning that so you, you know... Since, again, you guys can't see it. Now this is the Advanced Jumping Training Course. It will teach you, ideally, how to navigate through future test chambers. Let's see. Box Buton interactions and no drinking the gravy. Do I fucking have to? Um... Oh, I see. Duh. Let's do this instead. hoo -ah! Jump if you don't auto-bounce. Paint... For the record, let's see what happens when I pull the other trigger. Nothing at the moment. Just checking. This one looks grimy. I guess the portal gun looked grimy in the second game, didn't it? You know, because I'd been in uh, stasis for 20 years or so. Uh, I don't know if I need to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. fuck is going on over there? I wonder if this music is original. Because that weird electronic... instrument that's mixed into it, I remember that directly from Portal 2. Oh dear. Well, I have died. Oh yeah, apparently that never happened. Fuck! Alright, I'll put it all back. It's remarkable the way this stuff has absolutely no impact on surfaces it's not compatible with. Just think about how useful that would be in a paint. I mean, you could hose someone down to this stuff, and it wouldn't stick to their clothes, because, of course, you cannot use this stuff on, like, a business suit. Okay, what am I doing wrong there? Um... Oh, don't walk off the edge, you jackass. I guess I'll start with this. I don't think I did that last time. Just, I'm honest. Gonna be honest. I don't know what it means by jump if you don't auto bounce. You can't jump in midair in Portal. No. Maybe that was uh like that right there. Maybe I could have pushed A to push off of the wall. I'm gonna try that if this happens again. Also, I'm going to save this time. Can I quick save in this game? I don't know. I pressed F5 and nothing happened, so... Doesn't mean it didn't do it, it just means it didn't have a visual indicator. Or that it didn't do it. <laughs> Guess I'm clearly in a strange mood today. Huh, I think I did it. I think I did hit A against that wall there and kicked off. Okay, you can't paint this bit. But this seems really straightforward. Arg. Oh, I see. It's a beam of pure energy connecting one end of the circuitry to the other. That's not dangerous at all.
By the way, it wasn't the fact that Nigel had no arms that, uh... ...convinced me he was a machine. It was the fact that he was surprised that he didn't have any arms. You know, he said, I don't seem to have any arms. <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. Well, thank you for that. You know, the, uh... The paint I most liked spreading around in the other in the, the other game in the main game was uh, the white paint, which made surfaces portalable. But you know, given its very purpose, I don't feel like it's going to be very useful in this game. So I'm not surprised to see it isn't in the gun. Okay, what did that do? You know what? I can just check. That's what I thought it did. Hold this. God, I love that it's just like a bun It's literally a box. It's a frame with some wooden panels in it. What am I doing? Fool! Oh, thank goodness. Once again! I'm gonna be careful not to spray this thing, because uh, I remember that being a possibility. Okay, that wasn't the trick. How am I meant to get over there? That's not it. Right, okay, let me try that. Okay, I don't know why it's a black screen, but uh, yeah, do it. Oop. Well, that didn't work at all. Piss. Oh, rad! It loads my, uh, my actual save, not my auto-save. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Uh, no, that's death. Can't go over there. Wait. Maybe it's simpler than I thought. I have no control in the air while I'm bouncing, incidentally. Except for, you know, holding B. Oh god! Nicely done! I love that final jump. Looks really fun. Sometimes, I wish I had legs so I could do what you do, but then I remember the other things we do to test subjects. I, uh, probably shouldn't have said that. Agreed! Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine. I kind of wonder if there are no cameras so far, which I find interesting. So whether this guy's in the environment somewhere watching me, which I will not put past the designers of uh, a game like this, or... No, I got nothing, actually. I don't know what the other possibility would be. Is he just invisible? Are the cameras invisible? I feel like Gladys would have made uh, use of that. I know it's nothing, but I've always enjoyed the little continuity bits in Portal games. Like, for example, the fact that you start standing under that. If I remember correctly, uh, in the make-a-level thing for uh, Portal 2, 
every level has to have, at the, very, at the bare minimum, an entrance, an exit, and at least one of those frosted glass panels where human scientists are obviously meant to uh, observe you, but where no one ever actually appears. Look at this! I just looked at the documentation for these big monitors. Let me show you myself. Oh. Sweet, isn't it? Now you can look at me. Hi. So it's not as creepy knowing you're being watched, because you can watch me too. How cool is that? Oh, the door. Let me get that for you. Sorry about that. I just needed to check on some of the footage there. When I took a screenshot inside this game, uh, the recording indicator flicked off and on, but apparently that was just a graphical thing, and it did, in fact, continue recording. And the song. Good luck. Wait, that... The music is in universe? Huh. I never knew that. Oh my god, where do I... Okay, that's where I'm going. So let's see, work backwards. That's already activated for some reason. Where can I even go? Okay. Let's see, that's obvious. I'm up here now. Hmm. I see the... Oh. Oh. Piss drink. That's going to be a problem. Okay, if I remember correctly, the second one of those items is destroyed. The dispensers will create a new one. So. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> So first, if I do this, then that gets filled, but that stops working and the exit door closed. What does this do? And if I let go... Okay! So, if I can find a way to destroy the cube once I get up there, it will open the door again. Great! I have no idea where I'm actually meant to go from here, I suddenly realize. Shit. Uh Okay, I did remember that correctly. Well, that seems dangerous. Okay, problem solved. Okay, how do I get uh, I don't know that I can go anywhere from standing on this platform, so I'm just going to take a nosedive. Perfect form, 9 out of 10. No one ever gets a perfect score. Oh, fuck, I'm up here now. Um... Oh, sweet mercy, where am I even meant to be going? If I can go down here and do this, then blank, and because I don't want to, because I don't want to make it bouncy immediately, because then it would just because it makes that come up. I think. Yes. Okay. Right. That doesn't help me in the slightest. I don't want to make it bouncy from. I could make it bouncy from up there so I don't have to come down here. But that doesn't actually accomplish anything. Because then it would just bounce off the side and die. So am I meant to do this in a hurry, or what? I know, I just... Oh, I 
Marcus, maybe, maybe, no, no way. All right. I'll just dissolve myself in acid and uh, move myself back up here. So just for the record, yes, that is an option. Oh, I see this. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. I have as long as it takes for the thing to fly off the side, which could take any amount of time. What the hell? Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do, now was it? Alright, maybe that was the trick then. Yeah, okay. Oh dear. Gruesome death awaits us all. Oh god, and there's the timer. Piss drink! And there's the box. Before the record... Yes, okay, cool. Just checking. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of uh, Let's Play Aperture Tag. When we continue the, initi the initiative to test the paint gun. Later.